I wanted to clear something up because there is a theme in my book and it is a theme that many childhood trauma survivors resonate with that I wanted my parents to apologize. I wanted them to see what they had done. I wanted them to validate the pain that they had denied and gaslighted me over for my whole life. And I thought that that kind of an apology would solve what was still living inside of me. All of my brokenness, my low self-esteem, the shame, all of it. And so some people can go, "What? well, I, my parents did apologize or my abuser, whoever the person was, they, they actually did give me a sincere apology and I accepted it and I believe them, which by the way, is amazing because that doesn't often happen. But here's the thing, an apology will not heal trauma. What it might do is start to heal the relationship. It might make a healthier relationship with that person or those people possible, but it is not a magic elixir that changes the changes that were made to our brain as a result of living in perpetual pervasive complex traumatic events for most of our life and then the trauma responses that we lived with as a result. There's some amazing research. Um, in particular, what I'm thinking of is that the changes in the brain for trauma survivors. Uh, brain scans can show that the amygdala, which is the part of a brain that searches for threat, can literally grow up to 10 times the size in trauma survivors, okay? So an apology is not going to shrink the part of the brain that has been living in constant, oh, 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 when's the other shoe gonna drop, right? So we still have to do the work of regulating our nervous system. We still have to do the trauma work to heal the changes that have happened in our bodies. So if you're someone who's been thinking like, well, I, you know, here's the thing. We always go, well, my story wasn't that bad or I don't deserve, I should be farther along. I should be, I should be. Anytime I hear something like that, I go, okay, and what's the truth? The truth is you're still impacted. Well, then you still deserve to receive more healing. There's not a, a, a pass that goes, hmm, were your symptoms bad enough? Have you been living with them long enough? Was the traumatic event deep enough for you to deserve healing? It's like, no. If you're feeling dysregulated, if you're living with a pattern of symptoms, uh, I don't care if you've received 8 million apologies, if your trauma as compared to somebody else wasn't that bad, that's a lie. Um, but if you believe that it's true, you deserve to heal, okay? And healing is an inside job that we have to do. It changes our relationships with other people, but it starts here and it ends here. Okay, I hope that that helps. I know it's not the best news for a lot of people because we want a magic bullet to fix it. I haven't found one. If you do, let me know.